Frisk. Thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and uh, please, in the future, if you uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. I will. Azriel. Hmm? What if I do not have to think so about you two? Because we still have got a chance. Now, when you took back your fellings for a while, I can't let you lose them again. We must try to do something. I promise I... No. Please. Leave it. I can't come back. I just... can't, understand? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It is better if they never see me again. But they miss you so much, and you miss them too. I know it. Also, I know I'll stop missing Mom and Dad soon. But then... Hello? Oh, I'm in the ruins with my friend. I want my friend to come with me, but it seems he's scared by changes. He's really nice! And... shy. What? Stop pressing him? But I... Okay, you're right. Oh, sorry. I'll be soon, I promise. Hey, Yaz? I know you can't hear me, but maybe you will feel. You shouldn't give yourself up. Please, let Frisk try to save you. I bet they can. Uh, so, her mom, I mean, Toriel, she called me to go to the surface right away. I should go right now. She might be worried. Are you sure you can't come? <sighs> Fine. Go. Don't make Mom worried. I've already told you, I just can't. I'll be fine. Really. Go. <laughs> Come back soon, Asriel. I'll never abandon you. Leave. Right now. B but I said right now! <sighs> Please, Fizz. Wait for me, okay? <laughs> Nothing, if you will not act on them! 
Oh, no. You've done so much disgusting stuff and want me and them to forget it because of your regret? Like I will. Uh, listen, you, Prince Fluffy Dolt. There are lots of guys who desire to have a second chance, and you already have it. So don't you dare waste it, okay? Hold on to your chance and stop turning a blind eye at yourself, okay? For me. Why? Why did you stay? Don't you know how hard it is? Determined as always, huh? Well, guess it's too late now. I'm almost transformed back. It hurts a lot to force you to see me like this. Soon I'll become that flowy thing. You better hurry now. Brisk, <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Risk. Guess we both are crybabies, aren't we? Hey, Azzy. Huh? I know you can redeem your guilt. Mm, I don't know if it helps. Azrael, shut up. Hey! I'm so glad you both sunk a feud. Uh. Sorry, Yaziel, or, or Flowey. If it's you, um, can you say bye, Tim, for me? Huh. Hi, I'm still here. Er, uh, Brisk? Why are you always so stubborn? I've rushed you because I didn't want you to see it. Maybe soon we'll meet again. I... Actually, I... I want to come with you. You aren't a despaired toy. You are a careful and delicate friend. Wait, what? Did you only realize it now? Well, guess you're right. I can't go right now because they are shocked at the moment. You know, I am a strange flower which tried to steal their souls and did it successfully. <laughs> Guess we're not ready. Yeah, we really aren't ready. Especially that skeleton. And mom. Hey, you call my brother a toy. Apologize to him! Hmm? What is a cell phone doing here? Oops, I, I dropped it. Sorry. I'm pretty sure it is mom. You should answer the call and leave. I'll be fine. Hurry up. But... Hi, Mom. I'm still in the ruins. No, I'm not in the trap. I'll be in the castle soon. Sorry to keep you waiting. I dropped the phone. Well, I'll be waiting for you. After all. Thing the gum from your cheek. Waiting is the thing. Every yeah! uh, Undyne, please, no. Every single monster. Nose too close. Long ago, humans confined monsters underground. 
Monsters lived in despair and fear for centuries, until that day. A human child fell in the ruins and gave them freedom. It's been eight months since they started their life under the sky in happiness and peace. But can everyone feel it? Hmm. Well, what would you like? Nutty ice cream. With those berries. Green one, huh? Yep. Here you go, little buddy. Thank you. You're looking after Frisk again, huh? Yep. Toriel is very busy the last few days. She's spending all her time in the school, isn't she? She must be so tired. And she is. Well, we have to go. Good luck, little buddy. Good luck, sons. See ya. <laughs> How is it, kid? Yummy. <laughs> Glad to hear. Humans have so many stories. Why didn't you buy an ice cream there? Because that ice cream is not as nice as this. <laughs> A good one, Ki kid! Sheesh, first. Are you alright? Does it hurt? <sighs> it hurts, but not, not a lot. Uh, hey there. I I'm very sorry about that. Did I... Did I wound you? Uh, how can I cover it? It's okay, really. I I'm fine. Are you sure, buddy? Usually I beat a ball pretty tough. Hey, buddy. I bet you want to bring the kid a double portion instead of a spoiled one. You want to do it right now, don't you? Run away, sir! I won't let you down, sir! <sighs> what? Ah, oh, come on, kid. He really wanted to do it. He's frightening, the skeleton. I think he cares so much about that kid. It's cute. Is it? Yeah. In addition, Thomas has been trying to make friends with some monster for a really long time. M Mr. Rabbit! Huh? What is that? I need the most delicious ice cream you have! Please! Uh, double, no, triple portion, please! Whoa, buddy, wait! Why do you need so much and why are you so happy? I have a chance to redeem my mistake and I will not let it go! Oh, uh, do you have a thermos for that? Give me a minute and I'll think up something. Sons. Yes? It was rude. He was rude too. Besides, he harmed you. But I'm fine. You'll have to pay him back for the ice cream. Well, fair enough. But he's still in fault for Papyrus. Here I am! I hope you'll enjoy it! I bought a lot of different ones! <coughs> you didn't need to buy that much, you know? Okay. Sheesh, Frisk, I don't have that kind of money on me. I don't care. You said you will, so just do it. But we need some money for the bars. We'll go afoot then. Mr. Skeleton, don't worry. Please. This is the second time I'm at fault, so... It's okay. I don't need your money. Just forgive me for what happened. I... 
I just arrived, and I didn't know how to behave with the monsters, and... Uh, here. It's not all, but I'll give you the rest soon. And stop groveling before me. You know, buddy, it's pointless. Please take the money away. I'm doing this from my heart. Take it and run to the field. Chop chop. Pablo's already tired of playing in the two zones. Marta? Well, wait, I... Why do I always have to do everything myself? I said run! But wait, am I forgiven or not? <sighs> Risk. <gasps> That's all, I guess. Tori asked me to bring you home before she got back, so I guess we're going now. There it is. Let's take a bag next time. Oh, you lose your shoes in my bottomless pockets. Yeah, of course. Kid, isn't it too much for ya? Nope, I'll give you some. And I'll share it with Mom. And with Asgore and with Grandpa. Undyne Papyrus don't like ice cream, so I'll give to Asgore double the portion. There's even enough for Flout. He can be a little tough, but... We can dispense with it. Uh, frisk? Frisk. Buddy, did I do anything wrong? No, no. It's okay. Really. I just want to go home. I can't tell you. You won't understand the situation. Two tickets, please. For me and for the kid. I only have change. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. So much. Huh? They came back. Finally. Can I uh, help you somehow? No, thank you. I'll wait for you here then. Trash bags here, too. How could Mom trust someone like him? If only she knew what he'd done to Frisk in the past. Are you okay, kid? Uh-huh. Mom will be very surprised when she opens the fridge. Oh, Flowey, you got down. Eh? I want to tell you a story. You'll like it, I'm sure. At least you never forgot about me. I'll listen to it with great pleasure when that trash leaves the house. His stupid face ruins all the effect. What a capable face I have. Guys, please. What else can it do? I know what you can do. My advice is not to relax. I'm watching you. You're pretty bold. For someone who can't leave the pot for more than ten minutes. Mm. 
<sighs> Poor weed. Maybe its roots started to sear. It shouldn't crawl out. Sons, you better go. What? But your mom still didn't... I said, get out of this house right now. Frisk? I wanted to say... The thank you for this walk. I'll go to Flower, and you better go home. Please. I'll text you or call you when Mom gets here. <sighs> okay, buddy. Hey, Tori. Kid and I already arrived. Kid's waiting for you. Chara, I know you are here. Show up. Your savior from the babysitter, the danger of sweets, and just the great me is here. Did you have to get involved in the conversation? Without me, it would have ended worse. Do it more carefully, or at least warn me. You make me sound like a psycho. Don't you think you are a psycho? You're talking to a bunch of magic and memories. By the way, are you going to tell me where you got this treasure in the blue bag? You'll know when I tell Flowey. Did you catch laziness from signs? Is it difficult to tell me in a nutshell? It won't be funny if I tell it twice. You better tell me what happened at home while I was gone. At home? What, for example? Well, I don't know. How was Flowey doing, for example? If I ask him, he'll pretend that everything's alright. Again. But you're not going to lie. Are you sure? You won't lie about him. Well, Asriel <laughs> was sitting in the veranda, as usual, moping and staring out the window. And one of your tubes flew out. You'll have to seal it up. Is it too badly damaged? Nah, it's just a tiny hole. Give me a towel, please. Okay, wait a sec. Why do you keep calling him Asriel? Flowey asked to forget that name and not to think of him as Asriel. I thought, um, well... I thought you'd respect his decision even more than I do. I do respect him. I respect and appreciate my bro more than anyone else. That's why I call him by his name, not by the stupid alias! He was your brother. He was, he is, and he will always be my brother! Huh? Chara? Frisk, forgive me for yelling at you. Wait, could you forgive me for being so dumb? I shouldn't say these things to you. Yeah, you really should not open your mouth. Of course I can. You're right. But you should just open the door already. Asriel's waiting. Oh, right. Flowey, it's me. May I come in? Yeah, you may. Thanks. You came earlier than I thought. I saw that trash bag left. Weren't you supposed to wait for Toriel with him? Sons, um... You had some business to attend to. And I had nothing to do with it. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing a very important job. I'm not letting these drops fall on the table. Oh, you're good at it. <laughs> yeah, I had some practice. Flowey, I know I asked you before. Um, don't you want me to take you with me tomorrow? 
What for? I'll only get in the way. I see that you're bored here. What could be less boring in your school? Lots of things. Some lessons, some good people. <laughs> some people for shooting friendliness pellets at. What? I, I, I meant things. Yeah, not people. Like uh, a dummy in the gym. <laughs> and you might tear it into shreds. <laughs> isn't it funny? The result of my bad influence, isn't it? Uh, everything I taught Asriel in my time, he passes on to you. Uh, proud of my little brother. You literally control my actions, freak! Well, you said you had a story for me. Yeah, you promised to tell us something. It's a bit childish, but you'd like the end. Really? Do get on then. So, we were walking around the lake. Oh. Hello. I'm home. Frisk. Sons. Are you here? Hi, Mom. Hello, my child. Where are Sons? Sons had some important business to attend to, so he left. Didn't he text you as usual? Oh, I think I forgot to check my phone. Are you hungry, dear? I'm going to cook our dinner. Of course I am. Even if I'm not hungry, I'll eat whatever you cook. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you like my cooking so much. By the way, Dreamo will not come today, so Flowey could have his dinner with us. Really? That's great! Thank you! Y yeah, thank you. Wow! Itadakimasu! Seriously? Oh, you weebs. Um. Don't forget your exercises, honey. Okay, Mom. Is it leaking? It's not leaking. Cool. Cool. Done. I hope next week everything will be fine on the test. Of course it will, because you're studying beyond the norm. And this is even without following Mom's curriculum. Are you sure you haven't changed your mind about tomorrow? This is my last year at the normal human school, and, uh, this may be your last chance to go there. You did hit your head too badly back then, didn't you? Listen, you have exams coming up. And you're going to carry a heavy pet with a cheeky flower around the school? <laughs> Don't be a fool. I'm already too much of a burden for you. Don't make it any harder. Knock, knock, my child. Oh! Mom, I just finished! It's dark outside, dear. Did you sit down for your homework so late? No, I finished my homework and exercises which you gave me a while ago some tests soon, so I decided to work out extra. What a good child I have. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. Anyway, my child, it's time for you to go to bed. Good night, honey. Good night, Mom. Mm. Uh, Frisk? Hmm? Do you mind if I uh, sleep in your room tonight? Of course I don't mind. Thanks. My child, wait for me here, please. 
I think I forgot some documents upstairs. Okay. You know, I was thinking about reasons why Azzy doesn't want you to bring him with you. Not only from the school, but also just outside the house. He has to go further from the yard. It seems like he wants to say something, but he holds his inside. That doesn't leave my mind. Do you understand me? Uh-huh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me what. Oh, yes. Determination. S Seriously? My child, I'm coming. Get in the car. Okay. <laughs> it's a joke, isn't it? You will not put my brother in the bag. For pets. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Carrying Flowery this way is more convenient. Asriel is a flower now, but he hasn't stopped being a person. You didn't like sitting in Papyrus's booth. That was a garage. I don't care about what that was. You slam the door on my face again, and I'll ruin your semester grades. You won't dare, because I'll force you to fix it. <laughs> Whatever. Imagine how we will walk with him. Flower will be able to see more places while sitting safely and comfortably. Maybe it will even be fun and interesting for him. But I see a different picture. This thing looks more like a cage than a transport. And Asriel is locked in a tight space as punishment and proof of his insignificance. Can you stop looking for the worst in everything? I don't want to lock him up or force him to do anything. He is my friend too. All I want is to free him from the cage he's trapped himself in and give him a chance to live happily. Uh, did you say anything, my child? Uh, um, what did you hear? You were saying something about the cage when I opened the door. Was that about the school? Did something happen? No, 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 it's all right. But may I ask you for a thing? What is it, my child? Can we visit a few places after school? You'll do it in spite of my mind, won't you? Of course you will. Who am I here? I'm just his best friend. There you are. We're alone here again. You really like that view out the window. You're like a princess in her tower. Did everyone finish? Okay, let's write a title for the next paragraph. Please wait, wait! Think too heavy. I, I should ask Chris to find a smaller watering can for you. This? Uh huh. All right, my child. Wait for me here. That'll be 900 jin. I'll pay by card. Sure. Are you buying it for a kitten or a puppy? I'm not sure yet, but I have a guess. Oh, I see. Flowey? Are you sure, honey? As ever. Wouldn't he mind? I don't know. I came up with this idea this morning. So, you didn't even warn him? Yep. My child, this is not very nice. I myself wonder what will happen. I have to go away on business. Could you be alone? No problems, Mom. I wanted to go for a walk after I did my homework. May I? Okay, just let me know when you want to go and where you want to go. Sure, thank you. I'll be right back tonight. Uh-huh, bye!
I saw you up there. Congrats. What's with this face? It's such a good day outside. You're mopey. You did bring that thing, huh? Oh, you're still going on about that. Trust me, everything's going to be all right. It sure will be all right. When you inflict psychological trauma on him. Human schools suck. Don't take me for a complete fool. He already said no, and I will not try to persuade him now. Still, it's not good to stay constantly in four walls. I'll take him out and show him around. Maybe he'll cheer up a little. If he sends you far away, don't come to me to complain. I'll take your words into consideration. Whew, wish me luck. Go without that. Howdy, Flowey. I'm coming in. Ah, howdy. Sure. I brought something for you. You might, um, not like it. I really don't want to offend you with this, so I'm sorry in advance. Why do your words strain me? <laughs> Just don't get angry. Ta-da! What is it? Do you like it? It looks nice, but still, what is it? Do it, Frisk! Well, um, this is your new transport. Look, it has a solid body that will not deform, and roomy pockets to take everything you might need with you. And the main thing is that you can be on the street and at the same time remain protected from everything that can annoy or hurt you. Wait, 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 wait a second. What exactly do you need this strange backpack for? Well, um, you'll need to get in it, and then we can go for a walk. Sounds not bad, actually. <laughs> I told you Azrael wouldn't agree to. Huh? You don't mind? This... Well, I'm still not sure if dragging me around would be convenient. Hey, you agreed? I can lift you up, don't worry. I mean, I can't fit in there. Although... <laughs> now it's just right. Just don't go too far from home, okay? We'll go to the park at the end of the street. Are you okay with that? Of course! You know, I forgot that you can switch your size. How do you think I moved underground? You're right. Do you really have such a low opinion of yourself, brother? Alright. Go! Go before I change my mind. Okay. Okay, there's not much homework today. I'll get through it quickly. Come on, get out of here, you little ignoramus. Oh, wait. What's up? Uh, um, nothing important. Go. Okay. You know, I really expected a sharper reaction. I didn't want to soothe our formal brother after that. You surprised me. I can't keep this anymore. Huh? Maybe outside of our mother's house, your regrets will stop burning me out. Idiotic piece of the past. What? 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 Regrets? regrets? Burning you out? I put a plastic bucket of dirt inside. I know a ceramic one would be better, but it's too heavy. You did it right. Thanks. Need a hand? No, I can do it myself. All right, I closed the door. Are you comfortable there? I'm great, really. I'll have to call Mom to notify her that we're leaving, and then we'll go to the park. Do it quickly.
Okay. <laughs> Can't feel anything, huh? You are a dirty liar, brother. Uh, Frisk? Mm-hmm. I think I caught a butterfly. Cool. Ah, such a hot day today. I told you to check the weather forecast ahead instead of just wearing warm clothes. I checked yesterday. It said it will be raining today. Rain's coming tonight. Not after midday. I checked that too. Please don't say anything and just... Let me cool down for a bit. Frisk, who are you talking to? It's nothing. This is my schizo. It, it flew? Maybe it will come back. I'm not so sure. Flowey, how are you feeling? First of all, feelings are alien to me. And secondly, you've already asked this four times in an hour. And my answer is, great. Don't you see it? I see. He <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Well, you had enough rest. After all, we didn't come here to sit on the bench. I'll show you my secret place in this park. To be honest, Frisk, the fact that you're pushing through bushes with me on your back makes me worry. Be patient, Flowey. We're almost there. Huh! We arrived! Uh, wow. Looks weird. What is this place? This is the northern outskirts of the park. My old nanny lives beyond that fencing. Your nanny? Yep. Months ago, she used to pick me up from the school and help me with my homework. She also looked after me until my grandpa finished his work. And I lived with her during school time before Mama Toriel solved problems with the documents. She has a funny dog. It barks or quietly growls to an empty corner when I visit her. Can you imagine that? Maybe this dog is just stupid. Or just want some attention. You're a human. You know better. An empty corner, huh? Very well. Mm. <sighs> Frisk, why did you bring me here? Why? Well, to be honest, I myself have no clue. I just wanted to. So it always was easier for me to gather my thoughts and feelings here. It's such a peaceful place or something. Yeah, you're right. It's a pity that I won't be able to take this with me when I return to the underground. Yeah, it sure is a pity. Wait a second. Flowey? Did I miss here? Are you really going to return... there? Yeah. But why? Did something happen? Is it because of me spending a lot of time without you? Is it because of Mom and Sons? If they told you something bad, just let me know and I'll... Frisk. It's nobody's fault. That's me. I didn't forget. I didn't forget anything. 
No, it's not about Toriel or the others. Not at all. I was ready for the fact that after these six months, although they will cool down, that they're unlikely to forget what I... what I've done to them over all these years. <laughs> um... I'm talking about humans. In particular, about you. As long as I've lived alone under the mountain, everything was fine. No feelings, no regrets. Everything was as I'm used to. But with you... came something dark. I couldn't see what it looked like. But I could feel with my skin, it's staring at me. Wherever I go, whatever I do, that something follows me. Something is watching me. It makes me go over in my head all the evil that I've done to you and what's left of those children. I thought that by becoming a flower I would forget what it is. Guilt. But I couldn't. This... hurts. What can that something be? What? What's wrong? Why do you look like you know something about that? Or rather, is that something I should know? What? What do you want from me? Leave. Please. Okay, okay. You'll call me later, okay? Flowey. Hey, Flowey. Look at me, please. It was very brave to tell me what is bothering you. Thanks for your honesty. I can't say for sure what it is, but still. This time, I can't let you go. Not until we try to solve one important problem. Okay? Hmm. I don't like this feature of yours. You're too nice. Okay. What is this problem? There's one big matter that we wanted to deal with many months ago. I know how you can redeem your guilt. I think it's time to stop delaying. It's time to act. Let's make this step together. Fine. I'll trust you again. Oh my god, yes! Such fresh air. Ah! This weather went that too soon. It got dark so suddenly. Is this normal? Put away your leaves! Oops. Fasten the lid! Quickly! Okay. Why the rush? It may rain at any moment. Are you done? Yes. Sorry, it'll shake a little. Okay. Wow! Preparing it before leaving. It's not there. I took it out to put your bucket in instead. If you say something about a burn, I'll take offense. It was my decision, and it'll definitely not be your fault. I can see uh, the gate. We're almost home, Flowey. Jeez, the visibility is even worse there. Oh, here you are. Did you think you could just leave me behind? Uh, 
Oh, shit. I wonder if there's no point in running further. I have definitely no dry place on me. At least I didn't get washed away to the road, so it's okay. What's wrong with you? Reduce the speed of crossing, especially this weather. If they get sick, I'll find you, you hear? Yeah, lucky as always. Larry, you all right there? Just great. I'm watered for a week ahead. Sorry, Kim Dodging Toy. It's okay. Worry about yourself. Sorry. Larry, I'm sorry. Everything is probably dirty inside there. Nah, I kept everything clean with roots and vines. Really? Yeah. That's good. Huh? What's there? The door's unlocked. Are you sure you locked it? Y yeah. Oh, dear. But that means Mom's already home. Whoops. Operation slipped past the insanely caring mom started, huh? You're having fun? <laughs> I'm coming in. Good luck. <laughs> My child! <laughs> Have you warmed up, my child? Y yeah, Mom. Thanks. Very well. Give me your backpack. I'll take your friend to his room. Okay. Don't do that again, please. I can't promise anything, my dear. <laughs> Stupid flower head! <laughs> Don't laugh, Char. Fris will be offended. Let me guess, you were playing in those bushes again, weren't you? Sorry, it's probably a child's love of adventure. Well, <laughs> this is another reason for me to show my love for jokes. <laughs> I'd rather you just punish me. Since you're asking, Take a quick bath and go to your room to do your homework until I call you for dinner. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. With such punishments, I could break home rules every day. It's pity that Flowery can't sense it. This is not a problem, actually. Astral never liked to bathe. His fur would start getting wet and pulling him down with his weight and so on. Well, you get it. But I don't mind getting a little wet. Let's swap places. Chara, let me take a bath alone, okay? Frisk your mood. You always leave water on the floor and I'm the one who has to wipe it. Oh, don't you care about me, meanest? Oh my god, Chara. <laughs> So, can you get out of there by yourself? Mm-hmm. Very well. Oh, Ma... Toriel, Anscor's standing down there. Does he have an umbrella? Yes, and it seems like he came just a few moments ago. Great. Ascor can wait then. I need to bring my child clean clothes. That's more important. Hey! Do you want to drown me? 
<laughs> Sorry, did you just say something? What? Oh, this. Don't worry, I'll clean up after myself. This time for sure. Ugh! I could have been careful right away. My child, are you alright? Oops, this is Mom. Swap back. I brought some clothes for you. May I come in? What? Briss, this is not funny. Deal with it yourself, okay? You've got to be kidding me. Briss, did anything happen to you there? Like it or not, I'm coming in. Yeah, Mom. Sure. Well, it looks like the extra homework will have to be canceled today. Dreamer came today. Despite the fact that I asked him to warn me in advance, he... Child, what is that? Why is water on the floor again? I told you to close the curtain when you bathed, didn't I? <sighs> I forgive you this time, but you have to wipe the floor dry. Uh-huh. Very well, then. I left the clothes on the washing machine for you. Put them on and go down. Hello. Don't do that again. Oh, come on. A little chat with your loved ones won't hurt you too badly. You're playing with fire, shorty. A floor rag is under the sink, by the way. I know. Chara? Huh? What do you think Flowery meant? You know, when he was talking about his guilt. He can't feel affection for anyone, right? Why then? I remember just today. You said that you know how to help him, but we didn't do anything. For all these months. Don't worry. The first two points of my plan have already been completed. Damn, I have to face through that damn rag again. Your plan? What's your plan? Here, the floor is clean. Are you happy now? Don't get away from my question. Hey, what plan? What plan? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You've already blabbed. <sighs> I need to be careful with what I say. Fine. Okay. I'll tell you. Hello. Come in. Oh. Howdy, Tori. L. Come in. You know, I didn't come here today just to help Frisk. I have important news for you and them. Tell me what you have there. I'd like you two to hear it at the same time. Whatever you're going to say to my child, I need to hear it first. Isn't it too much? I'm waiting. Tori. Don't Tori me. My house, my rules. If something in your words can harm them, I'll be able to protect them from you. What I want to say is just for your and their good future. Fine. Tori. This concerns the last of the fallen humans. Huh? I found the address of his relatives and already contacted them. I'll personally go to New Home and prepare his belongings and ashes to transport. This weekend it will be handed over to his family. Tori, do you understand what this means? Since this is the last human, the last condition from humans will be fulfilled, and they'll allow me to adopt Frisk. That's right. Hmm. Finally. Asriel, Chara, did you hear that? Your little brother is about to become a part of our family for real. Oh, Tori. And... Oh. I have only black tea. 
You want some? I'm all out of the flower one. Okay. <sighs> oh, my dear Tori. Why are you so sure that Frisk needs this kind of family? Well, what do you think? Wow, you surprised me. You're always so practical and now you said something so naive. I'm trying to be sincere with you, but you... I'm done talking to you. Forgive me this time, please. <laughs> I just want to say that's so sweet. The fact that you're caring so much about him. I don't know if your plan will work, but I'll do my best to help you. It's the first thunderstorm this year. Suddenly, I remembered something about Azrael. So what is it? Is this about his attack, which he knocked the breath out of me in a second? Azrael doesn't like thunder. I often dragged him with me to watch the storms. He was always nervous, but he didn't resist. Why? My body... Moved by itself. Flowey? Are you there? You okay there? What? Flowey, what are you? No, you never assumed. It has no truth in it. It's okay, it's just thunder. I'm not scared. I'm far from being scared. Don't tell anyone about this. It was the first and last time ever. He got it. Sure, I get it. <laughs> Mom didn't turn on the lights for you again. She was probably in a hurry. Asgore was waiting. Frisk, don't shield her. Seems like she thinks that electric light isn't so necessary for flowers. I can't say that she's wrong. Oh. What is this? Frisk, look! The light in the hall went out! Fuse must have blown or something. What's with the light? Is it because of the weather? Maybe. Did Alfred say about what we should do in such situations? No. We have to call him. Right. His number's on the fridge door. You call Alfred, I'll go check on my child. My child, did anything happen up there? Nothing, I think. Oh, I see. Go to your room and wait until Asgore and I figure out what's going on. Wait, Mom, I think I know what- Do not worry, my child. Your mom will fix everything. If you listened to me, it would have been easier to fix the light. Frisk, can we do it ourselves? What it? Can we find and solve this problem ourselves? I'm not really sure. I don't think kids should be messing with wires. Is that all because of my bad influence or what? Should I remind you what happened when we wanted to solve anything ourselves? Trust me, Frisk. I wasn't born yesterday. I think even I can push the switch. Alright, I trust you. I hope you'll call Mom if something goes wrong, right? What did Alfred say? We need to check the electrical panel on the first and second floors. If the problem is in this house, you need to call an electrician. Is it really that easy? It's locked. Let me try. So, what are we gonna do? One lever must be lowered. If this is the case, we'll have to lower the neighboring one and then raise them both at the same time. 
It's dark here. Okay, I get you. I'll do it. And you don't interfere. Chris, look, there's a flashlight. Oh, Flowey, I can use a flashlight for you if you wish. So, let there be light. Your cop, brother. Flowey? What? What is that? How did you... Hmm? That's... the electricity panel, I think? You told me what I was supposed to do with it. My child, I thought you went to your room. Sorry, Mom, it was so dark I went the wrong way. What are you doing here? Are you hurt? You know that children should not play with... Mom, Mom, it's okay. I didn't touch anything. Flory did everything himself. You didn't? I didn't, Mom. How is it, Tori? Frisk Flower has already fixed everything. The problem was in this house. Oh. Oh, Alfred, you're still here. It's all right. The children found what was wrong themselves. Yes, everything is okay now, thanks to Frisk. Grandpa! Asgore, may I talk to him? May I? <laughs> all right now, give me a minute to end the... Oh, okay. I'll pass them the phone. My child, it's impolite to interrupt adults when they're talking. Hi. You haven't called me this week yet. Why? It's only Tuesday, but still. Oh, God. Oof. Well, actually, I suspected you were capable of doing something like this. But the fact that you would show yourself in such a stupid way wasn't even in my thoughts. You know, at the beginning, I thought you did it accidentally. I know you could. And then, I looked at your face and understood everything. We need to call each other more than a couple of times a week, right, Frisky? We could try to do it. <laughs> when school is over, I will call you every day. How are you? Are you feeling better now? I cough sometimes, but yes, I feel much better. I hope you're treated well, right? Sure. I think that I'll be completely healthy when we go to Ebbet. Huh? Why Ebbet? Haven't they told you yet? N no. What were they supposed to tell me? Uh, uh, um... I wanted to tell you this over dinner, but apparently we need to do it now. My dear child, next week we will go to arrange your adoption. We're going to be a family. You mean... Next week I'll... Have my real mom? And my real dad? I am... So... 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 Happy! What's going on there, Frisk? I'm so sorry, Mom. I should have been happy, but I burst into te tears. I'm really, really happy. It's all right, my child. Don't hold back. Cry if you want to cry. Mom. Mommy! I'm here, my child. I'm here with you. <sighs> what a crybaby you are after all, Frisk. You hear? You have another little brother. So that's it. If things had turned out a little differently, you could also have two older brothers. Asgore! Come here, little one. Thank, thank you both so much. <laughs> I can't get what you're talking about, Azzy. In any case, they have and will have two brothers, who are also their friends. And they will always be there for them.
Are you absolutely sure that these conditions suit you? Many points would confuse me if I were in your place. Uh, act sure. Yes, we are sure. Yeah. Very well. Then, you both only need to sign these papers. You look worried about something, Your Majesty. Don't get me wrong, I have no doubt about the fairness of the decisions taken by your council, and I will make sure that they are carried out by my people. I just hope humans don't forget to keep their end of the bargain. Well, I understand your concerns. Well, I understand your concerns. Many centuries have passed since anyone has lived side by side with your race in this world. I assure you, I and many hundreds and thousands of humans are ready to accept you all. Now, each side needs to get used to each other. Everything will get better. It only needs a little time. Welcome home, my friends. Some of the rules and conditions accepted by humans and monsters within a month of the freeing of monsters. From the human side. 1. The possibility of free construction of cities and the use of land by monsters only in the territory of Mountain Ebbet and the Ring 55 kilometers around it, in other areas, with the permission of local authorities. 2. The possibility of monsters moving to human cities and living in them, provided they are accompanied by a person assigned to them by humans' government. 3. Providing opportunities for the exchange of culture and resources. 4. Prohibition of the use of magic for the purpose of harming people. 5. Bringing monster laws in accordance with the international standards accepted by humans. From the monster side. 1. Provision of territories for settlement, construction, and development. 2. The possibility of humans living in the territories of monsters only accompanied by proxies of the king of monsters. 3. Ensuring fair exchange of resources, scientific knowledge, and achievements on both sides. 4. Providing assistance in the restoration of cultural and historical monuments in territories previously owned by monsters. And 5. Prohibition of carrying and transportation on the land of monsters of any weapon, even hunting. And many, many more points. Mm. Mm. All right. It's quite late already. Mm. Huh? You two having a bad night? Ah! What a messy day it was today. Soft, wet. And got overexcited, and then, then, Flowey. You know, I did many weird things. It wasn't me. Stupid. You're so stupid, Asriel. And I am stupid. I don't want to break my promise to you, but. In the future, if you, um, See me. Don't think of it as me, okay? He was, he is, and he will always be my brother! But from the deepest part of my soul, you don't know him the way I do. You can't trick me. I believe Char's heart. All these months, I... 
I was trying not to think about it. And... Huh? Right. Why well, wasn't able to use fire magic until his... I need to check it out. I really am stupid since I didn't get it sooner. Great, she's online. Hello, may I ask something? Hey, Frizz. Did something happen? Well, I'll get to that. Uh. Did you analyze Flowey? Do you have any records of that or something? Sorry it's so sudden, I really needed to ask. Doesn't respond. Maybe I shouldn't bother her so late at night. Got to apologize at least. Sorry, I shouldn't. Yes, then, yes. I think I have some. I left everything about my investigations in the lab. That lab. Why? Do you need them? Answer. Should I say everything directly, or... Oh, stop! Stop beating around the bush! You know, I think there's something going on with Flowey. He's not quite like he was in the underground, and that bothers me. Not in a bad way, I'm worried about him. I think that nobody except you can help here. It's hard to say something right now. I need to go back to the lab and then do some new tests with the flower. I'll do what I can. Well, this was expected. Well, at least now I have a little hope to confirm my guesses. <sighs> Thank you. Good night. How long have you been standing there? Came just now. Who are you texting? I asked Alphys if she has the records about Flowey. Now in the middle of the night is the perfect time for that, right? Couldn't calm down until I did it. I see. Move. Huh? I said move. Go to sleep already. You gotta go to school tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night, Chara. Are you sure you don't want to use anesthesia? Yes. I want to control the process myself. You are shaking, young prince. Of course I am. It doesn't matter. I'm ready. Get comfortable then. I'm starting the machine. Yes! Morning, Frizz! Mom cooked some pancakes for today's breakfast. Will you mind if I have breakfast today? Mom will still end up in your stomach, one way or another. Oh, you're sleeping? Ahem. After escaping all the traps in the castle and miraculously not getting caught by the terrifying dreamers, the Lost Prince reached the this tower to meet his only friend. However, their friend was under the power of a terrible curse that didn't allow him to go to meet the prince. And the name of this curse is... Laziness. For the sake of saving their friend, the prince went to do a sneaky little trick. Good morning, Alice. I'll 
I'll eat breakfast myself. And from now on, you're going to have to go to school with me again. Why? And when we are at home, go to see Flowey as rarely as possible. Aren't you too brazen? I turned a blind eye to your night chat with this lizard, but this? How are you going to make me leave him? Shut up, please! Didn't you notice it? It's hard for Flower to be near you! Do you remember what he said in the park? Something dark came with me when I went to take him to the surface, and that something was following him everywhere. It pains me to say this, but I think it's all because of you! No, I'm sure of it! I don't know how, but he senses your presence, and he feels bad because of it. Maybe his determination senses another strong determination or something! I don't know! I wrote Alphys to learn... To learn if current Asriel has any difference from the flowy thing she created. Yeah, yeah, now please calm down. Now you count me as an idiot? Don't you think I don't see that? That he's uncomfortable? I just... I can't leave him. Can you understand? Forgive me for yelling at you. I didn't sleep well this night. How? Even knowing this, you almost never leave him since the day he came to the surface. Sometimes it seems like you... Like you need him more than he needs you. Let it be like that only until the end of this week, okay? It's in your best interest to make Flowey feel better. Fine. Go down. I'll pack your backpack. Okay. Mmm. Hurts. Today we're going to have a hard day, aren't we? Sorry, I can't control this. Go downstairs. Mom's waiting for you. Sorry. Go. Good morning. From today on, you should feel better. I think so. And I saw you using magic yesterday. Forgive me. I wrote to Alphys that something has changed in you. She can come. Morning, Mom. Good morning, my child. I just finished making breakfast. Sit down at the table. I'll bring the rest. Okay? Strawberry jam. I should take some with me. For Chara. I won't kill you! I just want to take a closer look at you! Stupid insect! Yeah! I wasted ten minutes on you! my dear scientist. Th thanks. Uh, I'm dying. Could you drive more carefully? Uh, okay? Uh, to text first that we're coming t today. Mm -hmm. I always drive carefully, don't I? Elf, is Toriel aware of our arrival? I uh, it's just thought maybe we should go not to, to the queen but to Sans and the papyrus. I don't don't know how she she will treat me. Right, she kind of dislikes you a little. Let's go to Papas then. I don't care. W will you warn them about uh, us? I I can detect Sans. <laughs> now I want it to be a surprise. Mm. Uh, I'm dying. I I imagine that you've done a number of the bad deeds. And after the last one, many of your loved ones were harmed. 
And then a special someone has to save them all and everything is g good. Uh, however, your b the biggest mistake is that you s still not fixed and you're afraid that... That... That so somebody can be put, put, put in danger b because of it again. But by one day... You're given a ch chance to deal with this mis with this mistake, to, to get rid of it once and for all. W would you do it so so nobody could get get hurt because of your past? Yes, I think I would. Well, what if this special someone pr probably will n never want to deal with y you again? Give up on a few things, chasing the common good. Even if it's your dear friend. But sometimes, better to grab your friend. And find the solution together. Elf, you're talking about the kid and their flower, aren't you? Frisk has a big and kind soul, and they are far from being stupid. If you tell them everything, they will understand. Please don't do anything stupid, okay? Okay? Uh, okay. Hello there! I need a full tank, please! Well, someone learns from their mistakes. And someone steps only on the same rake over and over again. It seems that the lesson was not learned the first time. Concentrate, guys! <sighs> they can tie the score! Time's up! The game's over! Red team, 42! Yellow team, 37 points! Hooray! That was... <sighs> hard! It's okay. Next time, we'll win! Oh, guys, are you serious? So, red team, throw the t-shirts on the bench and go to the shower. Yellow team, throw the t-shirts on the bench and run around the play field. Boys run five laps, girls three. You tried hard. If you put a little bit more effort, you could have won. Next time, you will succeed. <sighs> Spare me. This is not a lesson. It's a damn... Torture for the lungs and heart. My throat will turn inside out soon. Let me run the laps myself. That goes without saying. Sorry, sorry. Unless you weren't bored. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's ran to the cafeteria. I left the key on the bench. Bring it back to coach later. Okay. Don't be upset. You're not the last. Some people just didn't shower and stayed stinky. I'm not upset. Really. That's better. Less people, more space. New chapter, new chapter. The newest chap- mm -hmm. Someone texted you. Morning, morning, Undyne and I are coming. We decided not to go directly to Toriel, but to Slots and Papyrus. Can you come to them today? Maybe you should ask first if I... I mean, if you can come to them and then make such decisions. <laughs> Stupid lizard. Am I right? Maybe. What should I say to her? Hi, are you able to fulfill a single request, Norm? Hey, get dressed, you want to be late? Hi, cool, I'll come. 
I only need to ask my mom first. Long time passed since we got together the last time. I'll be happy to see you all. Hear me, dummy! Sorry, sorry. It'd be better if I responded to my messages myself, okay? I feel a little uncomfortable when you do it instead of me. <laughs> Look what I have here! I asked Mom to pack some of these for us. Uh, not for me, but actually for you. I didn't allow you to have breakfast this morning. Dessert at today's dinner is also mine. You got it? As you wish. By the way, you have only 25 minutes left until the next lesson starts. It's enough, I just need to bring the keys to the coach. Why you? You're not on duty. But I'm the last today. Talking to yourself again? I forgot about caution. I was recording a voice message to a friend of mine. Want me to explain how it works? No need. You better return to your hole. That brat again. Why do you hate Frizz so much? Why did you push them down back then? Return to your hole? Do you even know what they've been through? Chara? Chara! Chara! What? Is everything okay? Uh, sorry. Does it hurt much? No, it was, it was just a little unexpected. He scared you? Just a bit. I thought you'd throw your fists at him. I know I'm out of control sometimes, but not that much. Yep, they're already doing their homework. Don't worry, I'm keeping an eye on them. And I'll check it when they finish. Yourself? Tori, you really don't trust me that much. Murder! Harder! Harder! With feelings and trust me your feelings into pasta! And I, and I doubt that pasta with the taste of prowling and deafness will appeal to someone. Feeling too bold with me? Did you forget who taught you everything? Now we have to wait a bit. I didn't know you could connect to Flowery like this. I implanted a special device at the base of Flower. What? What? Now give me more details. The fact that I myself didn't know about this thing is creepy. I, I implanted the transmitters preparing for the experiment. It mainly made of magic to adapt to possible changes in the flowers, but partially consists of special alloys. It p passes streams of magic, determination, and organic liquids through analyzers. This was necessary to control the experiment. I see. It explains why I had the wire in the screen in that form. That damn lizard. This device looks too suspicious. I haven't seen it, but it sounds dangerous. There's clearly something she's keeping quiet about. Vile coward. Connor, young prince. You don't want to hurt your friend's soul, do you? Of course I don't want it to. I am calm. A little annoyed, that's all. <laughs> A little annoyed. Young Prince, I missed your sense of humor. Oh, please. Leave. I'm surprised you finally decided to leave everything to this kid. I wonder what outcome would this decision lead to? Do you wonder too? Don't know. Rather, I'm... alarmed. D done I only needed to, to compare the results with that he had after the beginning of the experiment. The determination of different people is different, right? Well, well yeah. Its concentration is different, and impurities of other traits, too. 
It doesn't hurt. Still itches. So, can you take a sample of my determination and compare it to the one you injected Flowey? Idiot! That thing is too dangerous. This lizard might not be able to handle it. No, she doesn't have a chance of success. Damn, I can't interfere with their conversation. Done. Time to speed up homework. We'll be eating soon. Okay. Papyrus, can you prepare a seat for me too? All righty, my little friend. What do you think, Elf? Is it possible? I'm not going to do it. What's the big deal? Is it dangerous or what? It's just an analysis. You're not going to pump all the determination out of them, are you? It, it, it's t too dangerous for you. The equipment I is quite old. Besides, it is almost all left in Hotland. The qu Queen won't be happy if you leave t t the underground without any explanations. A and you weren't going to tell her anything about your p plans, even I... D don't know all the d d d d details. I think if someone mom trusts come with us, we won't have any problems. Come on, everything is going to be okay. Only one sample, I can stand it. I have a hunch, and if you agree, I'll share it with you. Please, please, please. Someone finally confides in you. Do you really dare to refuse this hopeful, childish smile? Fine. I... I hope you are not groping me into something dangerous. My plans already work too much for me. You're a monster! You are a flatterer, young prince. How? We scientists have our secrets. Annoying. Want to do it too. <laughs> you know, young prince. These two already look like family. They make me remember the past. I asked you not to do that! It. Sorry, sorry, you're so cute, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> A past in which you were only learning to love. I remember it too. God, what those two idiots. <laughs> let go! Let go! <laughs> How many times have I told you not to touch my neck? Accept punishment! I... Ouch! Apologies! Let me go! Apologies are not set without follow-up! Maybe for others this child can replace you. But not for your best friend. They are not supposed to replace me. Now as he feels the same as I felt back then. Risk has to become Asriel for ass. <laughs> Who's there? level of those I've ever met was 12, and that was a seasoned warrior. How much did he kill? How did he kill them? This creature is entrusted to a ten-year-old child? C calm down. A lot of monsters have levels higher than one. Even our king isn't an exception. But they all raised their level during the war. His Highness Old Gerson and the others were able to withstand this and start a new peaceful life. Perhaps I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Maybe Flowey has changed too. Decided to save his soul. No, he doesn't even have a soul. He has no need to change. I need to be careful. I remember too well what this plant is capable of. I must not allow this. To happen again. Alphys, anyone can make a mistake. It doesn't mean that we can't be friends. 
You're so kind, good friend. Pathetic. I can only beg you for understanding. I think even you will forgive me this time. What's wrong? All this? Don't make me doubt best decisions, okay? Alphys? Is everything okay? You ran out so suddenly. I'm fine. I just felt about dizzy. I watched anime half the night. Uh, didn't get enough sleep and now I get the results of this. The one you suggested me to watch? No, the one about Mars and robots. Didn't she learn about his level? If so, I understand why she's so shocked. Please forgive me, young Greedus. Huh? What? What is this? Why are you showing me this? You probably will forget most of what you have just seen. Even so. No! When the time comes, you will be ready. Whoa, you did a pustastic job, Papyrus. Don't. Bon appetite to all. You just ruined my appetite. Something happened. Char is so terrified. I hope Alphys didn't say anything weird in front of them. Perhaps uh, we forgot napkins. Oh, you'll rise. I'll be back in a few seconds. Kid? Huh? Your food's getting cold. Oh. Oh, no. I must eat it before its coolness is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke, kiddo. So, you stayed at the skeleton's house late, got a scolding from Mom, and immediately went to bed. And didn't even exchange a few words with me. It's not the first time, by the way. I'll start feeling aggrieved soon. Well, at least you fell asleep quickly. Hi! I hope time when you're sleeping doesn't count. Good night, yes. Good night, yes. Good night, yes. Uncle Escor, I call that human's family. We postponed your visit from Saturday to Sunday, as you asked. Good. Thank you. I'm sorry again for interrupting you from your work, Noel. It's still difficult for me to talk to the relatives. Please don't. It is not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs>